There are only 2,000 certified balloon artists in the world, and one of them lives right in Brainerd, Minnesota. So why is it such a rare trade, and what does it take to become a CBA? Jamil Donath tells us about this unusual artistry in this week's In Focus. Balloon making is no longer limited to circus clowns. It's a certified profession. You have a wish. Kelly Minkowski has been a certified balloon artist for four years. Yes, that's right. Minkowski is professionally trained in inflating, <laughs> twisting, <laughs> and tying balloons into just about anything. You say balloon, most people say, oh, can you make a dog? Because they don't know all of the things that you could do with a balloon. From the simple to the extravagant, and what she can do with a bunch of balloons will blow your mind. It's about 10 feet tall and 12 feet wide. So with such a unique job, how does one get the training? You go to balloon artist school, of course. It starts out as an online school, and so you do that part of it first, and then you have to go on site to actually pass the final exams. You don't have to be certified to be a balloon artist. Only 2,000 people in the world hold the distinguished title, but not many balloon artists can create Mankowski's masterpieces. Most people can't do that, and I want to do something that's a little bit over and above. Creating a flower here. Mankowski is going to show me how to make a flower corsage, which uses the twisting technique. So we'll see how I do. So now that I <laughs> I'm down to three petals now. And there you have it. I think I'll stick to reporting. There are a lot of things that goes into it that people don't realize. There are two types of balloon art, design and twisting. The twisting side is where you make the dogs and the snakes and the pirate swords and all of that kind of thing. And the decor side is more the decorating for events. And while arranging and warping balloons may seem harmless, even balloon art comes with its casualties. Popping balloons, however, is more than just physically painful for this balloon artist. I have to have my husband um, pop balloons when we have to get rid of them because I just can't do it. <laughs> Poor Mankowski, the real joy of being in the business of balloon art is making people smile. When people see a balloon, they always smile. They always laugh. It always means fun, happy things for them. And that's what I love. It's certifiable art and happiness made out of thin air. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News.